my question is about manifesting loving compassion in this physical world. I have heard from some in regards to others' trials and tribulations. Well, that's their karma. It seems so dismissive of the natural state of love, compassion. When I hear my mind judges or turn my back, so to speak, I feel so out of alignment with my state of divine love. Am I really off, off track to think that true, true love should be manifest in life? I understand the question. We see people in distress, so many, in fact most of us. Most of us are in distress of some kind or the other. It becomes very difficult when we have to deal with them. In what way can we be assisting them? Because their distress seems to affect us. That is where <coughs> love and compassion come in. Compassion is another component of love. Where you have love, you will have compassion also. That is why they say the master's unconditional love is always accompanied by tremendous amount of compassion. The compassion is where you feel, identify with the person and want to help from whatever point of view you can. And therefore, when we try to feel love and compassion for people, we try to understand the position from their point of view. Compassion is natural. When love flows, compassion will flow. But when ego comes in and says, I want to help you, that is not compassion. When the ego wants to help, sometimes you can have very strange reactions. When you say, I want to help you, then we don't need your help, get out. Have you seen that? That there are situations, we think we are helping somebody, and they are so critical of what we did to help them. That's not compassion. That's an ego trying to say, I know more than you, and I can therefore, I'm in a better position to help you. That doesn't help. When you have true compassion, you just put yourself in the other person's place. See, if I was in that place, how would I feel? What would I do? And what you would do if you were in that other person's place, you just express it. Without trying to say, I am going to help you. Compassion works like this. Love and compassion is an identification with the other. And therefore, when you identify with the other and you know what they're feeling, and you feel that, put in their position, you'll automatically be able to express something that will help them. Because you are not acting as if you are doing something, you are acting as what you would have done if you were in that place. And that helps. So compassion should be exercised like that. And, but never forget, never forget each one of us is living our own karma. It is not always possible for you to help everybody in their situations. They're all going in their own situations because of their karma, their actions, their past lives. It's not your past life that determined what they're going through. Sometimes they have to go through that. Sometimes they're punishing themselves. Actually, the law of karma is the mind punishing ourselves through the process of karma. So that is why you cannot go beyond a certain point in helping these people. You can love them, be supportive of them, and be compassionate to them. See what you would have done if you were in that place and express it as best as you can in a loving way and be done with it. Don't try to overdo. Trying to overdo sometimes hurts rather than help. I have seen many cases when people go out of the way to help, then the victim of that distress begins to feel that they are uh, trying to show off that they are better off than we are. And that is not a good reaction. So just try to limit yourself to 
expressing what you would have expressed if you were in that place. Be comfortable, be, give them comfort, give them support without too much of the I know better what to do. Okay, thank you.